Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. So, um, we almost a week removed from the Golden State Warriors uh, winning their fourth championship in eight years. And the Golden State Warriors, um, for the most part, over the past eight years, have been, uh, based off how they're winning, have been, you know, questionably the gold standard of how to build a team and run a team. You know, and it's so much to talk about. I'm going to talk about this whole Kevin Durant thing. I'll get to that later on. But I want to really talk about the Golden State Warriors. And not to pat myself on the back, but I did break down this series. And I said how this series could be won and how the Warriors can win this series. I said that Wiggins was going to have to play a major role. And I have nothing bad to say about Wiggins because he stepped up. And I know people were saying... Well, I was a little too hard on Wiggins. No, I saw his potential, and I saw that he was better than he believed that he was. And I knew once the butterflies shook off, he would be fine. And he shook off the butterflies, and he helped the Warriors secure this series. You can arguably say that he was the number two guy in this series. You know, Clay Thompson has the name... But, you know, Klay Thompson was pedestrian in, in this series, and that's okay. He's been gone for almost three years. But Wiggins locked down Tatum, you know, because Tatum was pretty much a turnover machine in this series. Uh, Tatum did not play very well, especially in, you know, he wasn't that good in, in, in the finals. He was okay. But man, in the playoffs, period, in retrospective, he was a turnover machine. But nevertheless, let's talk about the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors, I, to me, I feel this is their, their best championship. Out of the previous three that they won, this is their most defining championship because this team, to a certain degree, looked like they was barely going to make the playoffs. They looked at, they, keep in mind, they went in there as, I think, the number three seed. They had to go on the road to win some um, crucial games, and they got it done. This wasn't a team that was an overwhelming favorite. A lot of people thought they would be knocked off. Some people thought Denver would knock them off in the first round. Some people... Uh, a lot of people picked it Memphis to knock them off. There were a couple of people that thought Dallas could pull it off. And the Warriors went into the playoffs and for the most part, they were relatively dominant. I'm just keeping it, I'm just keeping it a buck. And then when they got to the finals, they had to go through some adversity. They fell behind 2-1. And then ended up winning, winning three straight games. I knew when Stephen Curry went into Boston and lit them up for 43, I was thinking to myself, Boston ain't gonna win another game. They not gonna win another damn game in this series. And even though Steph had an off game in game five, that just goes to show B. Yeah, Steph is gone. He gonna show up in game six and seal the deal. Then I know that history was on the Celtic side because they had never lost a series when they were up two games to one. Well, first time for everything, they lost that series. And I know people were ready to make excuses. And you know, and I've seen Skip Bayless being a hater. Boston got beat by the Warriors. They didn't look, you know, they didn't lose this series. They got beat. They got beat by the better team because the Warriors were the better team. And like I said before, when you, evaluate this Golden State Warriors team. 
you're like, okay, you look at the Warriors championships. So they have four championships. And let me tell you something, beating the Boston Celtics in the finals elevates you. It elevates your stature because the Boston Celtics have, what, 17 championships, 17, 18? So they're one of the, the league's prestigious marquee team. So that speaks volumes when you beat a team like the Celtics in the finals. I know you like, well, town, that's kind of not fair, but actually it is because of their history. When you beat a team like the Lakers or the Celtics in the final, it elevates you. It elevates your stature. It elevates the team's legacy and how you, how you grade them. And, that's, and, and to a certain degree, whether you like it or not, that's fair. So by the Warriors beating the Boston Celtics in the finals, that elevates them. Because the Warriors, now when we look at the Warriors and see who they beat in the finals, now people can't say, oh man, well, you know, the Warriors only beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. And like I said, this is why I said it was important that they beat Boston. It was real important to the Golden State Warriors organization until and to their legacy. So I'm glad that they pulled it off. I'm glad that they got it done. And, you know, like I said, transparency is very important to me. So like I said, you know, 20 years from now, when we're having this discussion about basketball teams and all that kind of stuff, like where you rank, rank the Warriors and stuff, now you can put them up in, up in that conversation. Are the Golden State Warriors the Chicago Bulls? No. No, they're not. But I can tell you this much, they're the Golden State Warriors. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.